Hey there, guys. It's Steve Lee again. We're here with a uh, another really cool uh, Divi CSS tutorial. Uh, today is going to be on the Ken Burns effect, is what it's called. Ken Burns effect. And uh, the way that works is uh, it's four header images, and it's more or less to give them like a like a fading in and out kind of motion. So uh, you can see here that the uh, this header is completely uh, just a static image, and it's still. And then uh, switching over and uh, refreshing here, this one has a uh, like a zooming out kind of effect. And the uh, code that's included is going to have, uh, you know, zoom out to the right, zoom out to the left, zoom in. Uh, there's several uh, classes that we can apply to, uh, to make it do what we want. So let's get right into it here. We've got to go into uh, the, I'm going into the dashboard and appearance and clicking on editor. And that's going to take us into the, uh, the CSS um, style sheet. And I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here and I've got it copied on the other, uh, the other side of the screen. It's quite a bit of code here that we're pasting in. Uh, looks like 200, uh, 160 lines or so. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And, uh, I do have it, uh, annotated at the top here with, uh, some some comment marks Ken Burns effect so let's go ahead and save this and pop back out to that page <clears throat> and once we get to the page let's go ahead into the uh, visual builder and we've got to do a couple things here to the um, to this header module so I'm going to click on the settings gear and in the full width header settings we've got to go down to the background and make sure that parallax is enabled and make sure it's set on CSS and not uh, true parallax. That's uh, that's definitely important here. <clears throat> and then also in the full width header settings, we'll click on advanced and under the CSS ID and classes, we've got to add the class that we want for, for which effect. So let's say we just wanted it to zoom out, then we would, uh, we would pop in the uh, KB zoom out class and when you're when you're adding classes here, you do not include the period at the beginning. So you can see that that changed, and uh, and started doing just the zoom out. Uh, if we wanted to do zoom in, we would just change this class to the KB zoom in. And you can see it's having that opposite effect of of zooming in. And uh, we've got KB zoom in right, which will kind of shift the image to the right as it's uh as it's zooming in. And uh, let's head over to a KB zoom out right. Uh, I think this is the one that I originally had set up on this site and uh, and has that effect. So once you uh, you can see it's taking uh, it's taking its effects live there live there. you can see what's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and save this and we'll exit out of the page and do a quick refresh and you can see uh, kind of what we're dealing with here with uh, the Ken Burns effect. Hey guys, hope this was a really helpful tip. Uh, I'll have all the code included below in the um, description, and it'll be uh, you know cross-posted as well on the D Divi CSS Share Facebook group and the Trello page. Uh, we'll have links for all that stuff. Uh, thanks for checking it out, and have a good one. Bye-bye.